What's good? This is Marshall Hayes, and in this video, we're going to be going over tempo and the grid in Logic X Pro. Now, it's important to set your tempo in a new music project before recording and before editing, and the way to set your tempo is under Display Modes, select Beats and Project, and right here under where it says BPM, you can click on that and type in your BPM. If you don't know what the BPM of the song you're working on is, you could just take a drum track, a full beat, any any audio track with the rhythm of the song in it, in this case we'll use the claps, and I could just, under metering, this BPM counter, and I could just play the song for a couple seconds, and this BPM counter will tell me what, B it'll automatically calculate the BPM of the song. Now I knew this song was at 100 BPMs, but if I didn't, there it is. And it's important to do this before recording, because if I recorded these vocal tracks, and then I realized I didn't set the tempo, so I set it now, it completely changes the starting time of all those tracks, of all those regions. And by setting the tempo, it enables me to sync my effects and mixing. Like if I'm going to put a delay on something, it'll be that delay will be going on in time with the beat instead of just randomly. If I put some kind of modulation, it'll be modulating on time with the beat. And with editing, let's say if I wanted to drop the kick drum at the end of the eighth measure. First, I'll know where the end of the eighth measure is just by looking up here because this grid will be correct. Hit Command T to split regions. And I could just drag that out for four bars. I don't need to zoom way in to think, oh, am I, am I a millisecond off? Am I, <laughs> am I two milliseconds off? I don't need to do any of that. I don't need to go and say, oh, is that right when the bass drum starts? No, I know it's going to be where I want it to be because I have the tempo set and I have the snap on. This also works... For copying, say, this is a verse, but let's say it was a chorus, and I wanted to copy this chorus exactly 16 bars from where it is now. Instead of trying to manually find exactly the right millisecond of where it is and wondering, oh, does that fall off the beat later? Is that where it should be? I can just copy it exactly 16 bars later. And up here, where it says snap, this is your grid. I could turn this off if let's say I'm working with vocal or live instruments and I want to be able to slide it by the millisecond or edit it by the millisecond now I could do it with the grid off but with the grid on I usually leave it on smart the smart is actually pretty good it's pretty intuitive it's usually it usually does what I want it to but if I want to say like yeah if I was just going to copy something 16 bars later and I didn't want to have to zoom way in to worry about the the beats or the subdivisions I could just set it to bar or if I want to work by the beat, same thing. Even if you're working for, even if you're working with films, you could snap it to the frame, frame rate. And then down here where it says snap regions to relative value and absolute value. If it's on relative value, then let's say these regions start at, if these regions started at beat one, bar one, division one, and tick 16, and it was on snap regions to relative value, if I brought it forward a bar, it would be bar 2, beat 1, division 1, tick 16. But if it was on absolute value, it would be bar 2, beat 1, division 1, tick 1. It would just go absolutely to bar 2, where if it's on relative value, it's going to snap relative to where the region is now. And you could also snap your automation to a grid. It doesn't automatically snap to a grid when you turn the snap on or off. Another way to snap your automation to the grid is if you go in automation mode and right-click, It'll be right there for you. So that's the tempo and the grid and one of the and why they're important to use in Logic Pro X. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. This is Marshall Hayes. Peace.